Well, it certainly is a shock enough. For more on this, we have been joined by former Ambassador Asif Durrani. Mr. Durrani, the killing of a 65-year-old man with his three-year-old grandson seen sitting on his corpse has moved the world. The act seems to be another step towards terrorizing the Kashmiris. What's your say on it? Well, I think it's the most uh, despicable act uh, on the part of the Indian armed forces. Uh, they have been doing this uh, for the past seven decades, but more so after uh, 1990. And uh, there have been many gruesome uh, murders of the innocent Kashmiris. Today's one was especially when uh, a three-year-old child, the images you, which you see, uh, I, frankly, I couldn't uh, see it even for a moment. And uh, then that reminded me of uh, that Syrian child who uh, was found uh, uh, dead along the shores uh, of Turkey. So uh, I'm, uh, this is a way, I mean, Indians, uh, um, they have uh, unleashed a reign of terror in the occupied state, especially after the Hindutva dispensation has been in power. And uh, this is the most gory image one I can talk about. And I can, I mean, the, the words cannot, in fact, describe um, uh, my feeling of, for uh, that matter, anyone uh, who has got a little bit of humanity. Absolutely. Mr. Durrani, human rights activists have called for sanctions on India due to its unabated oppression in occupied Kashmir. So when would the international community, including the United Nations, wake up to their call? Well, uh, I mean, they, they, such movements take time. I mean, and then India um, has also been using its cloud, especially its economic cloud, and uh, trade has got much more influence. Uh, upon the nations and upon the countries. And uh, it, even if uh, gross human rights uh, violations are taking place in the occupied Kashmir, uh, the countries are, you know, uh, they, they are suffering from the expediency. They, they don't want to speak up at the moment. But uh, uh, after uh, Mr. Modi's action of 5th August last year, at least the international media has, uh, in fact, given full coverage to the plight of the Kashmiris. The lockdown uh, which uh, Mr. Modi's government has imposed, and uh, now the Kashmiris, they are living in a, a ghettoized uh, situation. Uh, this is uh, now uh, showing results. There's no doubt about it. And. Uh, so uh, I'm, uh, I can say that uh, it will gain momentum and uh, India cannot be allowed to go scot-free of its gross human rights violations. Yes. Rightfully said. Mr. Durrani, India has recently issued domiciles to 25,000 Indian nationals in occupied Kashmir in utter disregard of the United Nations Security Council resolutions. Is Kashmir becoming another Palestine? In fact, uh, more than Pakistan, they want to make uh, occupied Kashmir uh, uh, and the Kashmiris as Red Indians. Uh, this is what the approach uh, they have adopted. Uh, but I have my doubts that they will succeed because, uh, yes, uh, they can do it on uh, theoretically. They can fudge with the list, uh, voters' list and all that, and then perhaps they may announce about a plebiscite or something. But uh, it's not going to work like this. Uh, we are living in 21st century. The kind of actions they have taken are of the 18th century or 19th century, when uh, the, there was, uh, you know, uh, a fashion of victor and a vanquished. Uh, this is not the age of a victor and a vanquished. So uh, India cannot go scot free on that. And certainly the people of Kashmir are not going to accept uh, that uh, Indians uh, start living or uh, getting the citizenship of uh, the Jammu and Kashmir state. And uh, more so, uh, uh, India has also, uh, by doing this uh, constitutional amendment, actually, 
it is not only the gross violation of uh, international uh, agreements especially un security council resolutions uh, but also uh, india has uh, in a way uh, almost abrogated the shimla agreement to which the indian leadership uh, successive indian leadership have been trumpeting about resolving the kashmir dispute under uh, the shimla agreement so with these action the shimla agreement also specifically says that <clears throat> the two governments will not unilaterally uh, try to change uh, the, the status of of the stay uh, the the kashmir uh, uh, even if they hold different positions uh, they have different uh, point of view so in this manner i think uh, it's a blatant violation uh which uh, the rss led uh, hindutva uh, dispensation uh, uh, has been uh, doing in occupied uh, kashmir but they are playing with fire this is very dangerous yes